Hey guys, welcome to the Social Hub Submitter. My name is Abbas Ravji and I'm gonna be showing you exactly how simple it is to use this tool. Now we've designed the tool to work with projects and to work with groups. Projects are your articles, your links, everything to do with promotion that you're looking to send over to your social hubs. Your groups are your actual account details for your social hubs. So without further ado, I'm gonna start by adding a project. I'm gonna name the project, I'm gonna name this project Keyword Research. I'm going to choose a regular project. We can also choose feed projects as well. I'll be taking you through this later on. Now I need to add a title, a description, and also the links that I'm looking to promote. So what I'm going to do, just for demonstration purposes only, I'm going to be going over to the internet and I'm going to be scraping an article from here. We don't recommend you do this, guys, but this is just to save us a little bit of time so that we can show this in demonstration. So we can show this demonstration, sorry. So I've entered my details in there now, I've got a nice long article, I've got a nice title. Now the system also works with the best spinner. If you have an account with the best spinner, you can enter your details inside of the settings section, which I'll be talk talking you through in a moment, and you can click these buttons here to get spin syntax. I've already got my details in there, so I'm gonna get spin syntax from the best spinner now by clicking these buttons. I've got it for my title, and I've also got it for my description now, and now I'm gonna add links inside to promote. Now this is one link per line, and the software will randomly choose what link to place when it is going to be making the post. Now I'm going to be placing my links in here now. Oops. Okay, so I've entered two links in there. We can have as many links as you like. There is no limit on them. The system will randomly choose a link for you. Now, where is the link going to get um, posted or what position in the article will the link get posted so this is entirely up to the user what I'm gonna do is enter a link at the very beginning of the article I'm gonna right click click on insert URL as you can see we've got a link placeholder in there now before when the software is gonna go on post it's gonna replace this link placeholder with one of the links that I've noted down there what I'm gonna do I'm gonna also create an anchor text link as well so I'm gonna click on insert anchor this is also spinnable as well I'm gonna call it SEO Oops. and we'll also call it website promotion okay so as you can see that's been entered in there as well now this is one group and we're totally complete with this group we've got some feed settings at the bottom but because we've chosen a regular project I'm not going to be working with this area here I'm going to click on save as you can see it's, sa it's successfully saved and we have our keyword research project down there I'm going to create some more groups Sorry, I'm going to create some more projects. I'm going to create a regular project again. And now I'm going to scrape something from the internet. Again, guys, something that we wouldn't personally recommend ourselves. And I'm going to leave a, res I'm going to leave a link back to the resource as well. Now I'm going to put this on pause. No, I'm not. I'm just going to get spin syntax from here. Get spin syntax from here and I'm gonna copy this URL and I'm gonna actually create a link back for this URL here. And just to be ethical as well, I'm gonna go back and create a link. Okay, the very first thing I'm gonna do here is save this over. So we've got one link in there, so it's gonna randomly choose and I'm gonna enter this link just here, insert link, link placeholder there, save it over, fantastic. Go to article marketing, oops, sorry, go to keyword research and remove my links and I'm gonna actually go and place the link down here for that account. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on pause and create some more. Okay, so as you can see from the left hand side here, we've got four projects that we've created. One of them is called Article Marketing, Keyword Research. One I've named no links because I've placed no links in there whatsoever. And the other one is called Website Promotion. Now we can edit these as, as, and as we see fit. So whenever you want to go back here to edit these articles, you can do, you can edit the links as well. Now the great thing about this system guys is when you do close out the system, when you reopen it, it's gonna save all of your projects in here. You can check whichever projects you want to work with. You can deselect whatever products you don't want to work with. You can choose your groups in the same way and you can really have the, you can really have the system randomize and post to them as well. But what I'm gonna do is quickly show you an example of working with a feed. I'm gonna create a new project now. I'm gonna call this big SEO feed. Okay, I don't even have to call it feed because we're gonna have a separate icon all together. I'm gonna create a feed project. I'm gonna leave everything blank here. I'm gonna go straight over to the feed options. It's asking me to enter a feed URL in here.
okay there's my feed now before I click on test feed I'm gonna click on save now I've saved that over as you can see towards the left hand side now we have a feed icon um, sorry we have a feed project created and it has a separate icon and it's called big SEO what I'm going to do now is make sure I'm still inside of here so I can see the details here. Now, if you ever want to bring up the details or any de or any of the edit details for any of these projects, all you have to do is click on that project. As soon as you click on the project, it's going to bring up the details for you to edit. So in here now, what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is click on ignore previous entries. And now I'm going to click on test feed. What this is doing now, it's going to take a snapshot of that feed and bring back exactly how many entries we have of that feed now. So down here it says we have 10. We can verify that. And as you can see here, this is my blog. And that looks about correct. Now, without looking at it too much, it looks like we do have about 10 um, entries in there, so that's fantastic. Now, what I done there was it click check on ignore previous entries. Now that means I'm loading the feed into the system. The system's gonna take a snapshot off that feed. It's gonna ignore the current entries, so all the entries that we have in here at the moment, and any new entries that the system's gonna find, that's when it's gonna post based on the settings that I have down here. You can combine posts, you can combine entries that you have in a feed and post them together. You can combine up to three entries. You can also have, you can also choose how many posts you want per entry as well. So whether you want one, two, three, four, it's entirely up to you. We've set the default as two. Now, the real clever part in this, guys, is when you're working with link claw feeds. So this is actually, this system has been built to work with two kinds of feeds. One is gonna be normal standard regular feeds that you get from your blog. Now, the format for these feeds is all the same. Now, when it comes to link claw feeds, sometimes the description might not be very long. Now, and, and a number of users will want to be promoting them links to high web 2.0, high authority sites, but with a, with descriptions in there as well. So we've actually got a new feature in here called combined feed with article. Now what that will do is, for example, if we have a look at this feed here, what we can see is this is the actual URL and the title. This is the actual URL and the title. This here is the actual URL and the title. Now, if you're gonna be combining the feed with the article, it's only gonna take the URL and it's going to mix it and merge with whatever description you put in here and whatever title you put in here as well. Now, depending on where you put your placeholders will depend on where the link's going to be placed from the feed as well. Now, this is an awesome feature because you also have some settings and you can tell the system how often it should be checking your RSS feed for new entries as well. Now, I've saved this over. I'm not going to be working with this. Now, what I'm going to do is go away and start creating some groups. I'm going to add a group down here. I'm going to call this group A. It's not gonna be a feed group, so I'm gonna leave that unchecked. As you can see, I've got group A. As soon as I click on group A, we're gonna have some new menus down here. Now I'm gonna click on add accounts and start adding some accounts. We can add Hello Text, Posterious, and Ping FM. You can only add one of each to each group, but you can add as many groups as you like, providing you've got the pro license. In this offer, you're all getting a free upgrade to the pro license as well. Okay, give me two moments while I go and add some account details. Okay, as you can see, I've added one Hello Text account, and now I'm gonna go and add one Ping FM account as well. Okay, and now I'm gonna add one Posterious account. Fantastic, this group is now maxed out. It's got four, it's got three accounts in there. If I try and add another Hello Text account, for example, it's gonna say enter a valid password. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Okay, it says you can't have more than one Hello Text site in a group, fantastic. Now, what I'm gonna do is create more groups. I can create this one as group B. Okay, save it over. In group B, I'm gonna add some more accounts. I'll add a Hello Text account. Okay, and I'll also add one Ping FM account. Okay, fantastic. That's all that I've actually got made at the moment, or that's what I want that's what I actually want to test with. So in group A we have three accounts, one Hello Text, Ping FM and Posterious. In group B we have one Hello Text and one Ping FM account. Now let me just show you that you can add as many groups as you like. So for example, let's call this group C. Let's call this one Group D, and let's call this one Feed, and create a feed group. So as you can see, the, when you are working with feeds, it's always gonna have a separate icon. Now, if you're finding this a little bit confusing, guys, then don't worry, you're gonna get full video tutorials and demonstrations in the back end. Now, all you need to realize, guys, is when you're initially setting up the system, you enter your projects, you enter your groups, and the system's gonna keep this for you. It's gonna store everything for you, and then now we have, because we have group, because we have projects inside of here, such as so many 
you know different variations of articles and everything in there as well the system has some super hot abilities to actually go away and work with these um, projects now and randomize everything for you so anyway what I'm gonna do is show you some other controls that we have in here as well so for example if you're working with say for example 15 groups you've got 15 hello text accounts you've got 15 ping FM accounts as well now personally guys I've worked with up to 10 of each without any issues whatsoever from the same IP as well but we have also included proxy support so the way proxy support works, we allow you to assign proxies to the actual group. What this allows you to do is keep each group consistent with the proxy that you're using. This ensures that your proxies aren't being shared with other groups as well, unless of course you're entering that same proxy inside that group. Now the way this will be done is to select on the group and you click on import proxy. Now I'm going to give you a quick example. Now I've got a bunch of proxies in here. Now, um, as you can see, I've entered them proxies in there. They've all been seen, uh, sorry, they've all been found and they've all been entered. Now the checkboxes here is gonna tell the system what proxy to use for the group. Now, if I go over to another group, for example, group B, and I click on show proxy or configure proxy, it's not gonna show me anything in there whatsoever. If I go over to group B, sorry, if I go over to group A and I click that, as you can see, all of our proxies are shown here. And the reason behind that is because we keep proxies assigned to groups, and that ensures we get consistency. Of course, you wouldn't be loading so many proxies like I have here. You would really try your best to work with one proxy only, one private proxy, so that you can keep consistency when you are logging in and out. Okay, so I'll uncheck this. Now, what I'm gonna do is go away and post. Now, before I go and post, guys, I'm gonna show you some settings that we can have in here. Okay, now the settings. The, one of the super hot settings in here, obviously I've spoken about the best spinner, you can enter that in here. You can also work with bit.ly, which is bit.ly, allows 301 URL shortening, something which is badly needed when working with services like HelloText and PingFM, as they will automatically shorten your URL using a 302 um, URL shortener. Now, if that doesn't make a lot of sense to you guys, then this is a very much needed service. Benefit from it, use it, Get yourself a free account with Bitly and you're well on your way to top 10 rankings as well um, because your links are going to get passed over. Now, the ability that the system has and the software has is to work whilst minimized. If I click on here now, guys, as you can see, that's at, that's at the bottom and it's still saying that the social hub submitter is still running and I can right click and I can show that as well. Now, the the good thing about this guys is it works using http web request there's no images to wait for there's there's nothing much that we have to do um, and it uses very low bandwidth as well and very low resources now you can run this when your computer starts you can run your feed projects when your computer starts and you can also set the interval of checks as well so this is like a massive scheduled system based on delays that you enter based on you allowing the software to actually start on the system startup as well. Now what I'm gonna do is go away to regular post details and show you exactly how this works. I'm gonna set, for the first thing I'm gonna do is go to manage projects. I'm gonna click on article marketing. I'm gonna click on keyword research and I'll click on, yeah, okay, I'll click on article marketing keyword research. I only wanna work with these two projects. I'm gonna go and manage groups. I'm gonna work with group A and I'll work with group B. I know group A has three connections. I know group, I can actually have a look at that here, look. Um, I know group A has three connections, group B has two connections. So what I'm gonna do is just tell the system to work with these, okay, I'll tell it to work with three. Okay, I'll tell it to work with these three here um, to post to do these two groups here, which is a total of five accounts. And I'm gonna tell it, okay, I want five posts. So I only want one post each per, per connection. Now the system's gonna randomly choose one of these here. If I don't want it to randomly choose one of these here, then I only choose the one that I want it to work with. Okay, so without further ado, I'm gonna click on start. Okay, sorry, number of posts is five. I'll have a delay of five seconds, which is fantastic. I can also randomize accounts as well. Now, the whole idea about this, guys, is to have a massive delay, maybe put your post count, number of post count up to maybe, say, 50, um, have a delay of, say, every 15 or 20 minutes, and have the system run whilst minimized. Fantastic. And when your computer does start up in the morning or in the afternoon or whenever you do start it, it's gonna automatically run for you, promoting anything or promoting all of your projects. So I'm gonna click on Start, and you can see this working. It works with three threads, guys. As you can see, we've got the status there. Ping FM has already been done. Posterious has been done. Hello Text has been done as well. We've got a little countdown there as well saying 
countdown for delay is one second and now it opens up another two threads um, and it's doing it with ping fm and hello text hello text taking a little longer but as you can see it's done now and that's gone over to stop so that was five posts there within a few seconds guys obviously now i've got everything set up everything is set and forget i can set my delays have the software really rotate and really randomize everything for me keep my account secure now let's go and have a look at some posts actually okay this is ping fm this is one of our ping fm accounts oops okay let's go to this ping fm here okay this is one of the ping fm accounts that i've just posted to now and as you can see here this one here is writing articles for increased website traffic now as you can see okay let's have a look here first that's just moments ago from the dashboard but as you can see here guys we've got this very funny strange character now the reason we've got this funny strange character is because you see me copy articles from the internet and paste them directly into the software now one of the issues doing this guys is the characters that are going to get put into here from here you can't see any special characters whatsoever but obviously they do get passed over because of the format of us copying over let's have a look at a posterior account i think we could actually look at it in here website promotion here we go producing content for enhanced internet site targeted traffic key phrase investigation right we've got a bad a very bad character in there again guys but again that was all due to the issues that i that i did myself as you can see here we've got we actually got an anchor tech links here an anchor text link saying seo but what i actually done was replace that with the article url so if i click on them that should go over to the article there we go it's gone over to the article that i actually copied from so anyway guys this is exactly how it works very simple very straightforward the more you get to work with this the easier it becomes you can really set and forget it have hundreds of projects built up there you can have hundreds of groups as well and as you can see guys it um the the posting is fantastic very successful very fast takes minimum resources and it's just set and forget by minimizing thank you very much guys and i hope to see you on the inside